Hello, uh, I'm Jason with CodeLearner.com. Here we're going to learn how to work with degrees and radians in terms of Java. And what I want to show you here is how to quickly convert between degrees and radians. Um, if you've taken math classes that deal with trigonometry, you'll learn how to convert, do these conversions. Um, they're not hard to do, but it's nice to have built-in functions to handle it. So let me show you in the math library, in the math class, I should say. If you go down here, this is the standard list of methods we have. There are two functions, or two methods. These are what they're called. The first one is called two degrees, and what you do is you pass it an angle in radians. And that's what that is. And for those of you who don't know, basically degrees, I think everybody has an idea, there's 360 degrees in a circle. Well, when you're doing math, a lot of times you don't deal with degrees, you deal with radians, which is dealing with, um, instead of degrees around a circle, it's how many radians are around the circle. So there's two pi radians in a circle, just like there's 360 degrees in a circle. It's exactly the same measure, it's just one of them's dealing with 360 divisions of a circle, one of them's dealing with uh, units involving radians, which are involving pi. So to convert from, for instance, from radians to degrees, you would use the two degrees method and you just pass it an angle in radians. So the simplest way to show you how to do that is by printing something out. So system.out.println like this. We'll terminate it with a semicolon. And then inside of here, we have the math class dot and then we have two degrees. So we're converting two degrees. We open up and it's telling you that it's requiring an argument in radians or a number in radians. All right. Now, of course, I can do anything I want. I can put, you know, two radians in there, of course, and it'll work. Let's go ahead and see what happens. It tells us that's 114.59 degrees. Right. And I can put, um, you know, seven radians in if I want to. And it'll tell me that's 401 degrees. Right. Now, let's go ahead and try a negative number, negative two and it'll tell me that I have a negative number of degrees because negative degrees is just the other side of the circle swinging down instead of swinging up. So negative arguments here are just fine. It'll give you a negative value of degrees. But where this becomes very useful is now that we know how to deal with pi in terms of Java, let me show you something. Remember, we can reference this as math.pi. It looks like I picked up an extra set of parentheses somewhere, so let me take that away like that. Um, if we're converting two degrees, the uh, value pi, pi radians, right? So let's go and take a look at that, and that's 180 degrees. So for those of you who are studying any kind of trig or calculus and are using Java to do calculations between tri uh, degrees and radians, you know that pi radians, which is the number we put in here, is equal to 180 degrees. You also know that 2 times pi, or 2 pi radians, should be equal to 360 degrees, which is you know exactly what we have here. And finally, another one that we like to use a lot, pi over two uh, radians. Pi over two radians is 90 degrees, and of course, pi over four radians is 45 degrees. So the bottom line is you put a value in radians in here and you convert two degrees. And you can use the value of pi that's represented in the Java class, um, just like you can use any other number. Now that's if we're converting from radians to degrees. But there's also a companion function if I'm converting from degrees to radians and I use the method to radians and I give it a, an angle in degrees. So in that case, let's take all of this stuff inside the print line method out and let's put the math dot to, um, to radians method here. We'll open that up and now I have to give it an angle in degrees. So again, I can put something like, you know, 36 degrees in there and it'll tell me that's 0.62 and so on radians. And I can put a negative 55 degrees in there, for instance, and it'll give me a negative value. So negative positive values, it understands just fine. What if I do something like 90 degrees? Well, I get the answer back. Notice 1.57 is exactly, or when you look at all these decimals, it's exactly the same as pi over 2. So it is a computationally telling you what the answer is. It's not going to give it to you in terms of pi, but you know from from experience that this is pi over 2 if you've taken a math class. If we go and look at 180 degrees, remember we just did that one, that should be equal to pi radians and it's giving us a value of pi radians back in terms of its raw decimal value. So these methods are really actually easy to use and, and kind of cool that they're included because frequently when you're doing trigonometry, anything with Gosh, almost so many programs today are using some kind of math with trig, whether it's a game, if you're doing some kind of graphics for some kind of 3D game or lighting or anything when you're calculating the trajectory of something, um, which is all 
tons of different kinds of programs just by itself. You're going to be converting between degrees and radians, and you're going to be using pi and so on in those calculations. So you have a power to use all of those things built in to the math class of the Java uh, dot lang package.